Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus, where I've just gotten back from healing up my Pokemon. I also swapped out one of the Bidoof for my other Wormpole. We'll see if it evolves into a Silcoon, because that's what I really want. But yeah, we're back here. We got this Alpha here, who does not want to be captured. I think we're going to leave him alone for now. We can try to capture him again once we're maybe a little stronger. Ooh, we got a... Pokemon under there, I guess. Didn't know that could happen. Looks a bit silly, honestly. I swear, there's something weird looking about this one. No, well, looks fine. Oh, it's just a Geodude. I mean, we needed a Geodude for that one mission anyway. So, uh, we'll Ember it. It's a high-level Geodude, actually. I might be avoiding too many battles, is what I'm thinking is the case here. Alright, oh we got a burn on him, that's good. I think we'll just try to capture him. I think he's running away anyway. Very nice, he thought he could run, but he could not. All right, wow, four levels for Wormpole. Very nice. That guy really has an attitude, doesn't he? All right, well, we're just beelining it, I guess. Ooh, new Pokemon alert. Missed. Oh, good enough, apparently. Keeping its guard up. Ran away. Okay. Right. Hey, look at that. We don't even need to evolve. We just got a free Silcoon. Let's see. Doesn't seem very happy to see us, though. Uh, do we just throw? No, no, no. We'll fight. We'll do a quick attack. Pretty good. Iron defense, huh? I feel like we can probably catch it now. I just wanted to do a little bit of damage because Pokeballs don't grow on trees, right? You got a limited amount. Oh, come on, really? The jerk. And now he's gonna faint Syndiquil too. We'll get another quick attack in before it's over, I suppose. Oh, we get a turn. Okay. Hopefully this ends it. And Syndicool can live another day. Really? This is one tough Silcoon. Goodbye, Cyndaquil. I would have healed you if I'd caught him, but whatever. Uh, who do we send in? I could send in Wormpole. I just need you to do one hit for me, please. Just one tack. Maybe two tackles. There we go. Yeah, defend yourself. That'll really help. All right, Pokeball, go. Alright, Silcoon obtained. Okay, so now we can evolve. I forget how we did that, though. Um, let me see here. That was not how we do it. There we go. Evolve. This is, after all, its entire purpose on being on our team, even if we did just catch a Silcoon. Oh, come on. <laughs> Game's just trolling me at this point. Or it's because it's night. I really don't know which. Could be both. Could be either. Either way, now we have two Cascoons on our team. Oh, we get a point for catching it at night, though. So that's something. Oh, we got 
a Psyduck, okay. I think we... Do we already have a Psyduck? Um, let me see. Let me see. No, that is... Someday I'll get used to this game and its controls, but that day is not today. I don't know why I struggle so much. No, we've not even seen a Psyduck. Alright. I think for Bunnieri, then, we literally just want to sneak up on it. It's drowning itself in the water right now. Okay. I need to not mess this up. Oh, come on. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, good job. All right. Well, that sucks, but we'll catch a Psyduck instead. I don't think Psyduck's gonna run away. He is very fierce looking though. All right, fight. I'm kind of worried about this Thundershock, so I think we'll use Bite instead. Yeah, Thundershock probably would have finished him. Now we've wasted a lot of Pokeballs this episode, so we're not going, to okay. I was gonna say we're not gonna take it easy on him, but yeah, all right. Move mastered, can't evolve. All right, well, we've got another evolution to do, so that's something. Uh, evolve. All right. A fully evolved Pokemon. see here. I want to see your moves, sir. Confusion. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Well, anyway, get me out of here. All right. Well, that's something. Now let's get some of these. All right. Oh, and then, then there's just a dust ox in the wild. Of course. Things are escalating quickly. Is this just gonna be a Geodude? Yeah, it's just... I probably should have used a different Pokemon to start this fight, but you know what? Bite's pretty good. Ow! Can I just catch it? He's trying to run away anyway. All right, we did it. I gotta get used to this whole, like, actually wanting to capture multiples thing. Ooh, we've got an, an evolution that I definitely want to see, and I pressed the wrong button. Yeah. Yes. Epic. Staravia. I always liked Staravia. All right, our team has gotten a lot stronger all of a sudden. Uh, you know what, we're gonna switch Dustox in here. Oh, we got another possibly Burmy here. I would like something other than a Burmy, honestly. Oh, I definitely want that. He's so happy to see us too. Please don't run. Ow. Uh, just do a tackle, I guess. The struggle bug. Great, now I'm even weaker. Dustox is a lost cause, probably, but... Combi will be ours. Perfect, actually. I wanted to get one more hit in. There we go, that ought to do it. Dustox has even survived so far, if we can get this on the first try.
Hey, look at that. Combi. That's fun. Alright, move masters, new move, blah blah blah. Okay, we got more bunnies. I don't remember the trick here to using berries capture Pokemon. I'm, I might have to actually research the secrets here. It feels like something that I need to master, but I don't actually know the best technique. Anyway, let's just continue on. You know, we've been goofing off catching Pokemon for a while. Maybe it's time we actually progress the storyline. I'm sure there'll be plenty of time to capture Pokemon in the future. Oh. Okay. Who do we do here? Oh my gosh, I can't walk up this stupid hill. Get up the hill. Sir. It's not that steep of a hill. I've climbed up worse. Okay, we did it. I am very, very, very eager to capture this Pokemon. Oh no. Alright, level 15. That's not too terrible for us. Do a bite. We're faster. That's good for us. Okay. Faster is kind of a confusing thing in this game, honestly. One more bite. Please don't crit. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, goodbye, Bidoof. <laughs> Alright. Staravia. Staravia doesn't care about this guy at all. Alright, items. Let's hope we've done enough. Alright. Scyther is on our team. Very nice. Oh gosh, now we got a mad Scyther at us. Look, I've already taken enough damage fighting one. Okay, so this is gonna be Leon, I think his name was. I'm Leon of the Pearl Clan, the Warden to Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. And you, I've already deduced that you've come here to meet Cleavor. I'm right, aren't I? Of course I am, I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerfully awesome Cleavor has become even more power awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinnoh's divine power. But whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleavor right now. I'll do anything. Oh, such earnest desire to meet mighty Cleavor. I have to admit, I'm struck by your passion. But, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms by Irida that I am to let no one near Cleavor. I will fight you off myself, if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now while you still can, or face the wrath of my Gumi. I'll take you on. You don't even realize I'm turning you away for your own safety. How sad you are. Go, Gumi, and see if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. The team is a bit injured, but if it's just a Gumi and that's it, then we'll probably be fine. Level 15, even. We have Aerial Ace. <laughs> okay. Okie doke. You'd kind of expect him to have, you know, a Cleavor of his own, maybe, if he's obsessed with it as a Pokemon. Very nice. We're ready to get our second Dustox. How can this be? I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleavor now. 
The only welcome you'll get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply try making him an offering. A nice heaping helping of his two favorite foods, served up with respect by his loyal warden. That's me, of course. Is usually enough to please him and soothe the prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleaver's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give any offerings now. Not with the way Cleaver is rampaging and running amok. There's nothing that an outsider like you can do. The ancestors of Cleaver, Wordier, and their cohort drew an almighty... Drew on. I can't talk. On Almighty Sinnoh's own power to protect Pokemon and people alike, so it said. It's by their grace that our clan, that any of us, still lives in Vastisui today. Irida, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleaver's grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength poses a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by that lightning, could the bolts have been sent by the false Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan bows to? Cleaver means so much to our clan. I'd hoped we could bring this situation under control ourselves, not throw up our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we must save Cleaver from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people in Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy team. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me. Could you galaxy people actually fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell our lord's frenzy? I'll figure something out. Very well. Lean and I will gather foods that please Cleavor in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you must search every corner of Vastisui. Can I just battle him and capture him? I thought we already had that feature, but I guess it's even more instant now. I don't know. Okay, so we're supposed to just head back now, I guess? Okay. Oh, if I can figure out how to get there. But yeah, I did this earlier, so I don't know what they want. But I guess... Is that where they want us to go? Yeah, base camp. Which I guess is here. Fieldlands camp. I don't know. We'll go here, because that's where the thing's pointing. I don't know. Now, this is not where we need to go, but it is... Oh, wait, it, he's here, so it does count. I don't know. Good to see you, Kabob. And how is your research into Cleaver going? Swimmingly, I expect. Oh, ho, is that so? Now that's quite the tidbit. So a serving as, of his favorite foods will normally make Cleaver quite agreeable. Is that it? I need to mull this over back at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear boy. All right, look at all those Pokemons we captured. $1,000. All right, don't really know what we're looking at here, I guess. Just research levels gained. So, according to the information you were able to learn from Irida and Leon of the Pearl Clan, were this the normal course of events, that frenzied cleaver would be calmed by a nice serving of his two favorite foods. I do wonder, is it possible that the aromas or some other component of those foods might combine in a way that could not only calm Cleaver, but draw him back from this frenzy? But by your own report, even Cleaver's warden, who looks after Cleaver and knows him well, cannot approach him in this current state. It would be a fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. Hmm, give me a moment, if you would. I need some time to ponder on this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. Eureka! We'll simply have to throw the food. You've quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, Kebab? Might I suggest you take Cleaver's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon? Makes sense. Yes, it's all coming together. We can use our skill in Pokeball crafting to shape Cleaver's beloved foods into balls. 
then throw them to achieve the same calming effect from afar. A brilliant idea if I do say so myself. As for what to call these yummy projectiles? Well, how about tea time balls? Puts one in mind of a nice relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? Why wouldn't you simply call them Laventon Balls, Professor? Oh my, with that name, it'd sound like I'm the one being launched at our frenzied friend. In any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? Then you should get back to Grand Tree Arena and let the Pearl Clan know our plan. If you're off to Grand Tree Arena, best set out from the Heights camp, eh? All right. Oh gosh, walking right into a wall. I was just admiring this Oshawott, who's just so patiently standing here doing nothing with his life. Alright, well, I think that's just about it for today, really. You know what? We can give a Geodude to that one girl. I wonder if you have to have Geodude in your party. That would be annoying if you did. Surely not. I think it was in this building, right? But upstairs... Oh no, but she said she'd wait in her house, didn't she? And I didn't know where she lived. I do remember. I'll have to figure out her house then. Well, you have a thing above you. We'll see what you have to say, I guess. You there, you seem like someone who enjoys a bit of crafting. Do you think you could help me out with something? I'd be very grateful if you try to craft something using a special recipe I came up with. So without further ado, here's the recipe. Okishi dolls, huh? Three logs of wood. This is the recipe for what I've named Pokishi dolls. I invented them, you see, as special items that we can make in this village. I would love to have you craft one and show it to me. I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Alright, yeah, I didn't think he would actually be related to the other thing. But I figured we'd take care of that. I don't actually know where this lady lives, though. There's more houses over here, but none of them have the thing. Can we, like... Look at our missions somewhere. How do we do that? That is not how we do it. I didn't really think it would be. Um, okay, I don't want new requests, though. I want old requests. I'll figure it out real quick. Okay, I figured out where in the menu to find this thing. And now we can do it. Over here, apparently. That's not where I thought it would be. Or maybe it's making me get my Geodude first. By the way, I did evolve that other uh, Silcoon. Not Silcoon. Um, Cascoon. Why did it send me here? You're not the person I was looking for. Fine, we'll grab Geodude. Real quickly, because we don't need two dust dogs. That's for sure. We've got a lot of Geodudes. Which one do we want to get rid of? We'll get rid of this one. He's low level. Oh my gosh. There we go. Now what do they want me to do? It's still sending me here. That doesn't make much sense. Oh, but this is also highlighted. Which I assume to be it. I was really hoping you wouldn't have to have the Geodude with you. Oh, are you here to give me a Geodude? Oh, I didn't have to have it with me. You know what, whatever, we'll keep... We'll, we'll keep this Geodude as the one we give away, even though it's going to make an empty spot. Oh my, would you look at that? It really does look like a rock, and it seems to be the ideal weight too. Oh, it's simply perfect. Thank you, young man. With this Geodude's help, I'll surely make some scrumptious pickles. Dude. <laughs> saying that not me all right well i think that is just about it for today so i'll see you guys next episode where we will try to figure out this whole cleavor thing i guess bye